Hello everyone, Spidey back again. Welcome to Final Fantasy Breath XPS. Today I want to share my strategy to clear our event, Boss Rush Survivor Intermediate Mode, Quest 5. So we have some missions here, clear without an ally being KO'd, no items, and party of 5 or less. And yeah, okay, I, I cannot bring any companions, and this is my squad i bring star player titus as my finisher um i will him with 90 percent of win resistance um for your information if you bring sylvie you can just build all of your units with at least 50 percent of win resistance but i don't bring Sylvie at this time, so I will use Bar or Iroga to boss win resistance at the battle. Okay, so this is um, his details with 175% of demon killer and 225% of stone killer. Okay, and next I bring Mastermind Son as my full efficient auto provoke tanker. Mm with 70% of wind resistance yep and I bring Elena with only 15% of wind resistance but I think um, she can still survive from um, from uh, the boss boss's attack pattern okay and this is her details with 200% of demon killer and 75% dragon killer plus 50% stone killer um, as you can see I haven't enhanced her yet because I want to save my guild okay to welcome neovision era yeah okay next I bring Rivera with 70% of wind resistance and yeah nothing special on her gear and materia next i bring elepim uh, the reason i bring elepim instead of sylvie is because i need elepim's limit burst to restore mp since we know that quick roper the last boss can uh, will absorb all of your units MP as a preventive attack okay so this is why I bring Elephim so let's get started so I will try to make it simple and efficient so I hope you guys can yeah can inspire by this strategy Okay, so this time Rivera cast Bar Iroga. Yep. And Elena cast Way of the Aurora, Way of the Blossom. Okay, Elephim cast. Um, I choose Spiritual Rondo. Okay. Yep, as you can see that with only 15% of wind resistance plus boss uh, about 70%, Elena can still survive from um, those bosses attack pattern. And this time, Rivera casts in the limelight to imbue an imperial like element. And I choose Passionate Fugu to breathe. Okay, and now I will cast Triple um, Blade of the Down. Up. Okay, nice. Okay, add this. Add this. 
time mm, okay i will cast slice and dice win okay since um very turn and is actually great has um weakness oh i mean no weakness but we can only attack them with win elemental and evil drag is um, resistance to physical attacks and evil drag resistant resistance to magic attack so this time um elephim cast passionate fugu okay and mastermind son cast ele elemental mirror on Tidus and then cast projected mirror. Okay. Elena cast triple blade of the down again. Yep. So even I have an enhanced Elena, she can still uh, have full at this intermediate mode so this time abaddon 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 i will cast passionate fugu again and rivera cast um lime like lime like in the lime like okay. titus cast limit burst and i will cast triple bolting strike and yep chaining with triple bed of crystal boom yes okay that bomb bomb family um same with my previous video at Evans mode I will eliminate mum bomb first so I cast Pesanet Fugu okay. and Rivera can yeah can st stay calm and Elena cast aquatic innovation to imbue water and then cast dual aura tempest okay so let's see yeah. and now it's your turn titus you can cast slice and dice fire and then spiral cut plus to eliminate the bomb Okay, good. Okay, we arrived at last wave. This okay. Oh, as you can see, Quick Roper absorbed all of your MP. Oh my god. So that's why I bring Elephant because her limit burst can buff parameters and also break break enemies parameters plus restore HP and MP yeah as you can see and now Rivera cast um, in the limelight I just have to kill quick roper at this turn so mm. okay chaining with triple blade of crystal Woo! yes yep i did it so they, this is my simple strategy 
to clear um, intermediate mode of post rush survival if you guys have anything to discuss about these events or this game please feel free to add comment below we can um, discuss here and i hope you like this strategy and let me know if you have a problem with your deck so i maybe i can help you i can give you an advice to to clear this mode okay so thank you thank you for watching this video see you on my next video bye bye